Life has a funny way of surprising you, doesn't it? Just when you think you've got it all planned out, something unexpected comes along. So there I was, sitting in my cozy living room in the heart of Georgia, sipping on my morning coffee, when a text message buzzed on my phone. It was from an old friend, one I hadn't seen in years. He had moved halfway across the world to the Philippines and out of the blue, he was inviting me to visit. Now let me tell you, the Philippines was never on my radar. My knowledge about the country was limited to what I'd seen on TV, and that wasn't much. I had heard about its beautiful beaches, yes, but beyond that, I was clueless. And if I'm being honest, I was a little hesitant. The thought of traveling to a place completely unknown to me was intimidating. But then I thought about my friend, who had taken the leap of moving to a new country, immersing himself in a different culture, and here I was hesitant about a mere visit. It was a wake-up call. I realized that life wasn't meant to be lived within the confines of comfort zones. It was about embracing the unexpected, about turning the unknown into an adventure. So, with a heart full of excitement and a mind buzzing with curiosity, I decided to take the plunge. I booked my ticket, packed my bags, and prepared myself for a journey that was about to change my perspective on life. In the days leading up to the trip, I found myself researching about the Philippines, about its culture, its people, its history. The more I read, the more intrigued I became. I realized that this country, that I had known so little about, had so much to offer. And so, with a suitcase full of essentials and a heart full of anticipation, I set off on a journey to the Philippines. A journey that was unexpected, unplanned, but one that promised to be unforgettable. And that, my friends, is how the adventure to the Philippines started. With a heart full of excitement and a suitcase full of summer clothes, the journey began. The long flight was a cocktail of anticipation, curiosity, and a dash of jet lag. As the plane soared high above the clouds, my mind was already wandering through the vibrant streets and tropical landscapes of the Philippines. The in-flight hours were spent thumbing through guidebooks, planning itineraries, and catching glimpses of the world passing by beneath. The constant hum of the airplane became a soothing soundtrack, a prelude to the adventure that lay ahead. As the plane began its descent, my heart pounded in rhythm with the landing gear. The first sight of the Philippines from the airplane window was breathtaking, a patchwork of islands surrounded by the brilliant blue sea. As the wheels touched the tarmac, the anticipation reached its peak. The moment I stepped off the plane, I knew I was in for a treat. The Philippines had opened its arms and warmly welcomed a new traveler. The Philippines, a country full of surprises. As soon as I stepped off the airplane, I was greeted by a symphony of sights, sounds and smells that was nothing short of overwhelming. I was plunged into a world so vibrant, so alive, it was like stepping into a painting that had sprung to life. The air was thick with the scent of grilled street food, the sweet aroma of tropical fruits, and the heady fragrance of flowers that seemed to bloom in every nook and cranny. The sound was a blend of lively chatter, the bustle of traffic, and the occasional crowing of a rooster. It was a sensory overload, but in the best possible way. But what really stood out was the warmth and friendliness of the locals. Everywhere I went, I was met with smiles that were as bright as the sun. People were always willing to lend a helping hand, share a joke, or simply engage in a friendly chat. This genuine kindness, this openness, was something I had never experienced before. Then, there was the food. Oh, the food. My first meal was a plate of adobo, a traditional Filipino dish made from chicken marinated in soy sauce and vinegar, served with a side of rice. It was a symphony of flavors, sweet, sour, and salty, all at once. With every bite, I fell more in love with the rich and diverse Filipino cuisine. As I explored more, I found myself constantly surprised by the sheer diversity of the Philippines. From the bustling cities to the serene countryside, from the pristine beaches to the lush mountains, every corner of the country seemed to hold a new surprise, a new adventure. In those first few hours, the Philippines made a lasting impression on me. It was a country that, despite its challenges, embraced life with an infectious joy and resilience. It was a place that, no matter where you came from, welcomed you with open arms. In just a few hours, the Philippines had already stolen a piece of my heart. The Philippines is an archipelago of over 7,000 islands, each one with its own unique charm. Imagine hopping from island to island, each leap revealing a new world to explore. Picture the thrill of setting foot on a new shore, the anticipation of what might lie beyond the next wave. Our journey through the islands was like a storybook, each page a new chapter of adventure and discovery. 
We found ourselves in awe of the stunning beaches, where the sun painted the sky in hues of orange, red, and pink as it set into the horizon. We sank our toes into the soft white sand and let the gentle waves tickle our feet. The ocean was a vast canvas of blues, from the light azure of the shallows to the deep indigo of the depths, a sight that left us breathless. But the islands weren't just about beaches. We ventured into the heart of the islands and discovered lush forests that were a symphony of life. The air was thick with the sweet scent of tropical flowers, and the rustling leaves whispered stories of the forest's ancient past. We saw trees reaching out to the sky, their branches a playground for vibrant birds and curious monkeys. The forests were a living, breathing testament to the Earth's splendor. And then there were the cities, vibrant and bustling, filled with the hum of life. We strolled through streets lined with colorful buildings, each one a piece of history. We tasted local delicacies that tantalized our taste buds, offering a feast of flavors unlike anything we'd ever experienced. We met the local people, their smiles as warm as the tropical sun, their hospitality leaving us feeling like we were part of their family. Each day was a new adventure, a new island to explore, a new experience to savor. We marveled at the diversity of landscapes, from the tranquil beaches to the bustling cities, each place a testament to the country's rich cultural tapestry. Each island, a new discovery. Each discovery, a cherished memory. And as we journeyed through the islands of the Philippines, we realized that the real treasure wasn't just in the places we visited, but in the memories we made along the way. As the days turned into weeks, the Philippines continued to amaze. Each sunrise painted a new day of exploration. Each sunset sealed the memories of another day lived to the fullest. The local culture is like a vibrant tapestry, woven with threads of tradition, resilience, and an enduring spirit of joy. From the rhythmic beats of the traditional dances to the aromatic wafts from the street food stalls, every experience was a sensory delight. I found myself trying out things I'd never imagined. One day, I was snorkeling alongside the vibrant marine life in the crystal clear waters. The next, I was hiking up an active volcano, feeling the Earth's heartbeat underneath my feet. The thrill of these adventures was only surpassed by the warmth and hospitality of the people I met along the way. I made friends who shared stories of their lives, their dreams, and their struggles. Amidst the laughter, the shared meals, and the shared moments, there was an unmistakable bond forming. A bond that transcended the boundaries of language, culture, and geography. And then, there were the moments that will forever be etched in my memory. Watching the sun set over the chocolate hills, feeling the rush of the wind as I ziplined across the treetops, tasting the sweetest mangoes I've ever had, and dancing at the local fiesta until the wee hours of the morning. But the biggest takeaway from this trip was not just the experiences, but the life lessons it imparted. It taught me the importance of stepping outside my comfort zone, of embracing new cultures, of forming bonds with people different from me. It taught me to appreciate the simple joys of life to find beauty in every corner of the world, and to carry a piece of every place and every person I meet within me. The Philippines, a country that greeted me as a stranger and sent me back as a friend. Like all good things, the trip had to come to an end. Yet each goodbye carries the promise of a hello, and this journey filled with laughter, wonder, and unforgettable experiences has been nothing short of transformative. This trip was more than just a voyage across oceans and islands. It was a voyage of self-discovery, a journey that changed my perspective on life and its many adventures. The friendships forged along the way, the bonds that blossomed amidst the tropical sunsets and vibrant markets, are treasures more precious than any I could have found. It was a heartfelt goodbye, teeming with the promise of reunion, a promise etched in the sand and carried by the wind whispering, see you soon. The Philippines, with its stunning landscapes and warm-hearted people, has etched itself into my heart. It's a country that invites you with open arms and leaves a mark on your soul. The Philippines, a trip of a lifetime, a destination that I will surely visit again.